there's a question that says that the, there were conflict of interest issues that were raised by the majority rebel group, quote unquote, uh, just as the CSOs and other citizens have been doing long ago. How do you, the uh, majority whip, reconcile those conflict of issues, uh, conflict of um, interest issues raised with uh, agreeing for Kenoforiata to stay for three more weeks or even more? Does it not matter anymore uh, to you uh, that you need to act, you know, now and that you don't have to give him any of the time that you are giving him? Um, Samson, I think um, we have passed uh, that stage now. But where we are, just um, listening to um, the submission from my uh, co-panelists, I understand the fact that people are now um, talking about the majority group, whether what we did was just a scam or what we did, we were just playing to the politics of it. Mm. Samson, we were very clear and we were serious about it. First, we, were, were you part of that group? You see, I, like I said, I'm a what? government whip. I'm in a tight position. Yeah, so you, were, you, you can't understand. be part of that group. So what okay. I'm trying to say is that something is that the majority group, our decision was very clear. And we did it in the confines of our ability and our strength. Mm. We said, one, we will boycott every government business that comes into the chamber. What is political scam now is the motion of censor that the minority have actually filed in parliament. It is playing to the gallery of pol public politics. It is actually trying to win the sympathy of the public vis-a-vis -vis what the majority did. I said so because one, we are, we are all aware in Article 82 what you need to be able to pass a motion of censor. The minority are well aware that there are 136 members and 136 members cannot pass a motion of censor. You need at least 183 members to be able to pass that. So what are you actually trying to do? That you are filing a motion uh, of censor to remove a minister knowing very well that the constitution doesn't give you the right in terms of the numbers, the strength you have in parliament. They are doing the, it, you ho see, hoping, hoping that some of you definitely. join them. We, we could also say that the motion they filed, that we were also filing it, hoping from them. But we know that we don't have the strength if they are not actually going mm. to uh, support that. And, when, and when, you you decided see, to, you, when you decided to act, you have now actually almost backtracked it so, somehow. No, so why Samson, do you say DS Samson, is a scam? Samson, because see, there's no guarantee says, that you will do what you could do. Samson, you see, this call and this current happening in our country, it's not the first of its kind. We need to actually be happy and, um, you know, thank the majority group for adding another face to our democracy and even thank the president of the republic under his response. Because when he called us, he didn't tell us that, look, this is a clear the legislature interfering in the work of the executive because it's the leg we are actually to do laws and other things. Who point, appoint and fire is the duty of the executive. But you see, the president told us that he will act on it and appeal to us. In 2014-15, when there was serious outcry in the country, where businesses were collapsing, when we went to IMF, when the city depreciated by some 40%, the clergy visited pres former President John Mahama and said Seth Fergus must go. He said he has heard the call that Seth Fergus should go, but he will not do it. He okay. said it to our face that he will not do it. Mm. For the president to even appeal to us and say that, okay, do this within the time frame. We need to recommend him for that. And you see, some, my sister was talking about President Mahama call, and you also made it, that the, the, the military should stay in the barracks. Mm. That is a very dangerous call to be made by a former president. I said so with all... We are, talking, we are talking about the They're president himself. President no, and, uh, no, I'm he talking about the John Mahama no, no, no. The, the president is the commander-in-chief. So if I am a commander-in-chief, yes. it's more or less giving you an instruction. And yes. if you are not a commander-in-chief, and you are also saying something, you are triggering something else. You see, the point is that, you see... The president made a statement. And I'm saying that. Mahama is supporting him. said that's wrong. And I'm saying that. The president said so. And he's the commander-in-chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. It's okay. just like the manager of Joy FM telling you that stay in your room, don't come. And mm -hmm. a nearby pa person passing by also telling you to stay in your room. It's a different <laughs> call. I said so because, you see, you are triggering and even planting other thinking into people's mind. 
that stay in the barracks in the time that we are doing. Don't do this. What you are saying, you are planting the notion of cool in them. But if I am your commander and I'm telling you to stay indoors, it is a different thing. So we need to actually appreciate what the majority caucus have been able to do. We recommend the work the that president the president said, I want to encourage you to continue the good work uh, that you are doing for our country. I encourage you to stand firm in your loyalty to the Republic, your loyalty to the constitution of our nation, so that the orderly, peaceful development of our country, which is uh, the only way that can guarantee the future pros prosper prosperity we are all working for, can come about. So that uh, these generations of Ghanaians will leave um, as our legacy that even when things were difficult in Ghana, we all held together under our Republican institutions and our constitution to find a way to, better, uh, to a better future for our nation. I am confident that we can do it and I am counting on you to help me do it. This is what the president was saying. What the commander when, in chief said. When, when he told them that he wants them to be loyal to the constitution. Then uh, Mahama also says, I support what the president mm -hmm. said. I think something I have keep faith with the constitution. Something. I, have that's, explained, that's I have explained this. Mm. It's two different people calling. A commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces speaking to his officers mm. and a former president mm. also speaking to his officers. And I've cited an example. Like a manager of JFM telling the workers to stay in there because he's a, a manager. Mm. And then somebody who has actually been a pass by person also telling them that, oh, look, he's saying you should stay, but we should be mindful that try and stay. What are you trying to plant in the minds of people? Nothing. We are descending people and we know exactly what the president is trying to. He's trying to play, play the policy. This is just the, another form of rebranding so of President Mahama. He's somebody who has driven us before. He has been our oh, driver. Charles he was Harris. in the seat. Um, and we know exactly what he okay did. thank so you definitely this rebranding thank you work thank you we take a we take a break here and then when we return i will be asking my guests to tell me what they expect to hear from the president after all the meetings he has had with the various stakeholders um regarding the economic situation this show is brought to you by the candid sponsorship of bank of africa as strong as a group and close as a partner empty and everywhere you go star assurance your solid partner ashasi university educating ethical and entrepreneurial leaders for africa robert and sons optical services your comprehensive eye care service provider for 31 years fenard ghana think who think fenard duraplast how you get your water matters remember where duraplast goes water flows saint thomas eye hospital Providing excellence in eye care. Hoptel, everything you and Miwe Insurance. Simply dial star 165 hash on the MTN to join uh, an insurance that works for you. And my guests this morning who have joined us and we have been having the discussion are uh, Clara Kolaga, uh, Barry Kasati, she's a lawyer, lecturer, University of Ghana School of Law and board member of the CDD Ghana. Also, John Osai Kwapom is political scientist, democracy and development fellow at the CDD Ghana. Dr. Kwabna Nyako Otu is chief economist and director, Labor Research and Policy Institute, Trace Union Congress. Habib Idrisu, you just heard him a while ago, MP for Tolong and Deputy Majority Chief Whip. Mona Kote is Managing Partner, BVM Advisory Services and former Deputy Minister of Finance. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.